Hello, my name is Jonathan Biznet, and this circuit I'm going to show you today is actually one built on a, an SCR, a silicone controlled rectifier, or a thyristor as they are sometimes called. Basically, it's a uh, it's basically a pair of transistors that drive each other. Once they once they're turned on, they will stay on until a specific uh, break in the circuit turns them off. Um, the device I'm talking about specifically is this one right here. It's an SK4914 silicone controlled rectifier and I'll show you a, a picture of what it looks like when I show you the schematic. But basically the way the circuit works is when I press this button it's going to turn on the silicone controlled rectifier and notice it stays on. I'm no longer pressing the button. Uh, and it will stay in that state until I ultimately break the circuit by turning this off. Now, in my case, I happen to use a transistor in here because I actually didn't have a normally closed switch that I could put in place here. Uh, so I use the transistor to keep it uh, normally closed and the button basically opens the transistor. Uh, but that's, that's really the, the process here. Uh, this switch basically provides uh, power to one of the pins on the SCR which causes the transistor to turn on which in turn turns on a separate transistor and the two transistors keep each other on until you press this button over here and break the connection up all the way in which case then they go off. So it's a, an on and off type circuit. Uh, so anyway, if we go ahead and we look at the um, schematic, what you'll see is I have a, uh, you'll see that I have a, a box or rectangle square type thing over in the bottom right hand corner. This represents the SCR. Now, my version of Multisim doesn't actually have this particular device in it and therefore I had to uh, simulate it, but if you look at it, you'll see what it is is a pair of transistors more or less back to back uh, with the collector of one driving the base of the other and vice versa. Uh, so when J1 is pressed, uh, positive voltage is applied to pin 2, which turns on the base of the transistor on the bottom right, and as it comes on, it will then turn on the base of the transistor on the left and the two will, in conjunction, remain on. They each drive the other. Up above it, you'll see an elliptical form. Uh, basically, the components in there are the ones I put in due to the fact I didn't have a normally closed switch. But you could basically take the output from pin 4, or the, excuse me, the uh, connection from pin 4, and the connection just to the right of LED 1 up there, and simply put in a normally closed switch that when you pressed it would open the circuit and turn off the SCR. The, um, the, so the other button, J1, turns it on, J2 turns it off. That's really all there is to this circuit. A uh, very simple circuit, but very valuable part in its ability to drive uh, a reasonably large amount of voltage off of a voltage and current off of a small input and remain in an on state without somebody having to flip a switch and hold it or something like that. Basically a triggering event can turn this circuit on. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and uh, thank you for watching.